Gaius! Wait! Wait, just a moment. Lower your weapons. I said lower your weapons! You have much to answer for, General. And what of you, my friend? A year ago I heard stories of your death, at the hands of a child, no less. Now here you stand, not only alive, but leading the very creatures we've been charged to destroy! You've been charged to destroy, not me. What happened to you, Cassius? Cassius? Do you not remember your own name? What have those damned moonbloods done to you? What did you call me? Cassius! That's who you are! Don't listen to him! You're Jin now! Remember that! I... You're remembering now, aren't you? Together nothing stood in our way. We shaped this world together. And together we can finish what we started. You order the deaths of countless people, countless Moonbloods, Moonblood sympathizers, anyone that stood in your way! Yes, and you carried them out. Lower your blade, old friend. First we destroy these Moonbloods once and for all. Then I can help rid you of these fantasies that have spoiled your mind. Just listen to me. Cassius was my name. That doesn't matter. It's all that matters! All those people I killed, fidgets. How could I possibly redeem myself in a mere few days? You cannot, Dust. This was never about redeeming Cassius. But then, you are not Cassius. But I share his form, his very soul. That doesn't matter! Why do you keep saying that? Because you're not just Cassius! Jin didn't kill those people. Jin saved Aurora and Mudpot Village. Jin stopped Fuse, saved Lady Tethys, and now he's the only thing standing against General Gaius. Cassius would destroy the Moonbloods. But Jin, he would protect them. No, Fidget. You're wrong. Jin didn't do any of those things. Then you finally come to your senses. Jin is dead, as is Cassius. Their souls now live within me, constantly reliving that fateful day, forever in battle, forever at odds. But as long as I live, I still have a choice. Then what are you? I am Justice Incarnate, brought to this world by forces beyond your comprehension. A cleansing storm to sweep across the land and purge it of your foul presence. I am Dust. And your campaign ends here, now. Throw down your weapons and surrender, or you will face an enemy unlike any this world has ever seen. Cassius, please, don't do this. You know you cannot win. Let's end this. You cannot win, Cassius. You never could beat me. Stop calling me Cassius! There was a time when you stood by my side. We were allies once. Not anymore, General. I'm not your ally, and I'm not your friend. Now raise your blade or drop it. You never could scare me either, Cassius. Very well. To the death!
Cassius? Why would you draw your blade against your fellow soldiers? Why would you draw your blade against me? You're destroying this world, Gaius. You and your soldiers cannot be allowed to continue your campaign. This world belongs to the strong, Cassius. It belongs to us. Don't you remember your duty? Don't you remember your friends? I remember everything. And it changes nothing!
Through the actions of our Sen Mithrarin dust, the Moonblood race is finally free. We will never forget his sacrifice or the deeds that saved our fairy world. We shall always remember what happened here. Dust's sacrifice will allow the Moonblood race to rise again, to rebuild our glorious civilization and live peacefully among the races of this world. Though it may appear that dust has fallen here today, a force of good is not so easily extinguished. Sen Mithrarin was born of dust, a current from the winds of change, a harbinger of storms yet to come.